my channel I'm back with another favorite video of mine a monthly favorites so if you want to see everything I've been loving this past August which went by extremely quickly please keep watching okay so I don't have too too many items to share with you guys but let's first start with makeup my first favorite is actually the lip gloss that I am wearing today this is the Pat McGrath lip gloss in flesh fantasy it is a beautiful nude creamy lip gloss it has no shimmer in it it's opaque well, it's not really opaque, but it's a creamy nude. I love it. I have it on top of uh, Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink right now. I really love this combo. This has been one of my favorites this month. It's just too hot to wear a lot of makeup. I mean, with exception of today because I'm going out, but I've really been enjoying this. Also, I can't wear too much makeup under my mask. So this has just been perfect. Like if I'm already out and I just want to put a little something on my lips, I've really been enjoying that. The next beauty item I have is my Lancome Taunt Idol Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. Now this is something that I first tried out an influencer probably three or four years ago I absolutely love it the formula that I love for foundation is liquid foundation but if I'm just gonna be doing something super quick where I just want to look a little perfected and not have on too much makeup this has been perfect I have it in shade 450 neutral this is what it looks like I typically don't go for a stick foundation but sometimes if you just want a really light coverage and you don't want to do too much this is just perfect it's been great for the summertime um, this is actually more of my summertime shade but right now since I haven't been going outside too much I'm not really my summer shade and that has been just working perfectly for me okay let's get into skincare my first skincare favorite this month is none other than my Neutrogena clear face breakout free sunscreen for my face now you guys know I talk about this in so many videos because sunscreen is so important and I've been going to the pool a lot more recently than I have in months past and this is just so essential for me not necessarily so that you don't get a tan but just so that you really protect your skin from the harmful rays of the sun I also do a lot to my skin in terms of lightening and brightening and let me just tell you if you're doing any type of anti-aging routine lightening or brightening and you're not using a sunscreen you are throwing away money this is so so important not to say that I use sunscreen on my whole body every day which I should but definitely for my face every single day even if I'm not going outside I like to be in the habit of this I kind of do want to try the black girl sunscreen but this doesn't make me gray or ashy so for right now it works just fine my next skincare favorite is my Charlotte Tilbury magic cream this has been keeping my skin so hydrated maskne has just been tearing apart my face it's made my skin so dry so flaky irritated and so just like rough but this has really been helping me out I apply this every so often at night I don't use it every night because sometimes I use my skin lighteners um, my hydroquinone but this really just helps me get really nice smooth and hydrated skin I do want to try the nighttime version of this in the fall and winter but for right now this has been perfect I do have oily skin so I don't use this during the day but for nighttime use it is great. Okay my next skincare item is by Foreo and this is a brand that I've worked with I think for at least one other video on my channel but this is a product that I'm no stranger to this is the Forego Luna 3 now I actually do own the Forego Luna 2 the main difference is that this is more customizable you can use it in conjunction with the Forego app you can adjust the intensity you also can adjust the duration of this cycle now this is basically a cleansing brush now a lot of you know that Clarisonic is going out of business so this is really the only other option that a lot of us have for this type of higher quality skincare brush even though this is technically not a brush the main difference between this and the Luna 2 is that like I said you can adjust the duration and the strength and also these little nubs as I call them are a little longer they also go down a little further as well I really been enjoying this at night when I cleanse my face I don't use this in the morning I use this at night if I've been wearing makeup after I use the makeup wipe I will go through with my cleanser and use this all around my face it really helps to just get everything every bit of dirt and makeup off of my skin and help me to really feel fresh and clean. It is a little pricey, but the fact that you don't have to buy replacement brush heads just makes this totally worth it. Um, and I used to be a huge fan of the Clarisonic, but now I can't really use it anymore if I want to replace it. So I've really been enjoying this and I'm so happy that I was actually sent this for review, but this is something that I've purchased in the past with my own money as well. At least the Luna 2, this is the Luna 3. 
And the last skincare item that I've been loving this month is kind of like a skincare and wellness item. This is the Hum Mighty Night. This is a nutritional supplement and a skin supplement and a nighttime sleeping aid all in one. I love this product so much. So if you guys have been watching my channel for a few months, you know that I've worked with Hum Nutrition in two other videos in the past. They sent me four of their best selling supplements to try out. Uh, I've tried Flatter Me and Gut Instinct. I've really liked those. And this is the third one that I've tried and I like this one as well. This is geared toward targeted cell renewal, which I really didn't understand what that meant until I read up on the item. And it's also a sleeping aid. So I take this at night, you take two capsules and I'm gonna link the video review that I did down below earlier in the month. But I really, really enjoy this. It puts me to sleep within about 30 minutes. I always talk about how I don't have problems like staying asleep, but sometimes if I stay up too late I'll kind of ride the cycle of going to sleep and then I'm up until like 3 or 4 a.m. so this really helps me fall asleep if I need to get to sleep quickly if I'm having a night where I'm just up for no reason the other amazing thing is that this actually did help improve my skin so this is pretty much to me like taking retinol in a supplement form this has ceramides CoQ10 ferulic acid and valerian root these ingredients work to smooth my skin now this is also supposed to help fine lines and wrinkles but I don't really deal with too much of that because I don't have more advanced signs of aging but for the smoothness of my skin this has been amazing. I always talk about how I'm really into exfoliation. I have one exfoliating face product right here. My First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads because I was using this today before I did my makeup but I'm gonna be honest sometimes I'm so tired that I forget to do my nighttime skincare routine. Well this really keeps you in check. For me this does what a retinol does. It increases the cell turnover rate which slows down as you age so pretty much it is going to give you more renewed skin more quickly. If you're dealing with any fine lines, wrinkles, roughness, texture, acne scarring, anything like that, it's going to speed up your skin cell turnover, which is really important because like I said, as you age, that length of time that your skin cells turn over just gets longer and longer because as we are aging, our body is decaying. It's kind of morbid, but that's the truth. So I really like this. Check this product out. I will link it down below. Now let's get into some fragrance, you guys. All of these fragrances I've really enjoyed this past month. The first is Layered's First Kiss. This might not be one of my favorite scents, but I love it. This is a dupe for Parfum de Marly's Delina. And to me, I would never buy Delina because this smells so good. I've also smelled the original Delina because a friend of mine has it, and it's pretty much an exact dupe to me. Now, this is about probably 50 to $60, so I'm not gonna spend upwards of 300 for something that I could get for 50 to $60. This smells like rose, raspberries, and something else. It's a very fresh, sparkling, feminine scent. A lot of people really like First Kiss or Delina. My favorite is actually the First Kiss Exclusive or Parfum de Marley Delina Exclusive. But this has been really nice for the summertime. It's bright, it's fresh. Not fresh as in like a fresh scent, but it's a bright, fresh, bursting scent. It's very, very beautiful. It's very feminine. I've really been enjoying it. It's perfect for being around the house. It's perfect for going out. This smells amazing on your skin when you're in the hot sun. I've really, really been enjoying this uh, fragrance. A lot of you have been asking me if I'm still lacking layered. I'm not working with them like on an influencer basis anymore, but I still love their fragrances and this one is really nice for summer. Okay, the next fragrance that I have been obsessed with, I've actually been wearing it since June and I haven't been able to tell you guys about it because I hadn't yet posted my review or my unboxing and haul. This is the Maison Francis Kirk Jean Aqua Celestia and I am obsessed. So this is one of my newest MFK scents. This smells like aquatic lime it's just a citrusy aquatic fresh scent it's very androgynous to me but i like it i'm gonna be honest you guys i wear this when it's really hot outside if i'm gonna be out in the elements like if i'm going to the park or the pool or on a walk i wear this scent to the pool i know some people might think that's extra but i don't know i love it i've really been enjoying this set i've been wearing it since june and it is one of my favorites i first got this in a little travel size and i was so obsessed that i had to get it it's not anything like the next set that i'm going to talk about but it's just so light and aquatic and beautiful for a vacation. It's not like a coconut beachy scent, but it's very fresh and aquatic. I'm obsessed. Now my next scent, which is what I'm wearing today, that just smells so amazing. This is Maison Francis Kirk Jean Baccarat Rouge 540. This 
is everything. Now I know you guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about Maison Francis Kirk Jean Baccarat Rouge 540, but it is so amazing. I had one of my friends buy it with the samples uh, this past month, and when I always describe it as being a sexy band-aid, some of you guys are like, what the hell are you talking about? Well girl, those of you who have tried it this month, some of you have told me that you totally get the sexy band-aid vibe. It has a sweet, deep, medicinal scent to it but it's also very fresh and masculine it's just gorgeous i'm gonna spray some more on me i don't know if i got an old bottle or if it's just because it's so hot outside it's definitely not lasting on me like it used to this used to last for like 24 hours on my skin i don't know if this is just a defective bottle or what but i'll just spray more of it and have to repurchase it this scent is so beautiful it's a lovely unisex scent this is not your run-of-the-mill scent that you're gonna come across a lot of people smelling like this it's very androgynous and different but it's also so lovely and I love when I come across someone out and about and they smell like Baccarat Rouge. It's like I know what you're wearing and you're fabulous. This is my favorite scent ever. As I'm aging, aging because I am, I'm getting more into androgynous scents and MFK just has some of the best androgynous scents ever. Okay, now let's get into some fashion and miscellaneous. The first thing I wanna talk about is my Bluetooth camera shutter. I have been using this to take all of my pictures on Instagram lately because I'm trying to do more outfit posts and things like that and I've really been enjoying this. This is a little Bluetooth camera shutter that you hook up to your phone and you can use to take pictures by pressing the button without having to put your timer on. So if you are an influencer, if you like taking pictures, if you're a photographer but you still like using your phone sometimes, this is definitely a game changer it works with iOS and Android I'm obsessed with it I have about three of these in a lot of my purses my beach bags and what have you this has just really been essential for me and it's so just it's so much fun to be able to take a picture by yourself and not have to pull someone to take it so definitely check this out you can purchase these in like packs of four from Amazon for like 10 bucks okay now let's get into some fashion the first item I want to talk about is a sports bra from Yvette Sports I will link my um, try on haul that I did down below this is one of my favorites from that bunch I wore it today I've worn it a couple of other times now I will say I love it mainly for the color it's this really really pretty orange which looks so good on my skin tone look at the back detail I mean how often do you come across plus size activewear that's really really high quality comfortable wicks away sweat and that's not expensive like never and what I love most about this is that it's fashionable I mean I never find stuff like this in my size now I do want to tell you guys when you check out that video or if you're not going to but you just want to order some Yvette Sports definitely be sure to look at their sizing chart because I wear a 3XD through F currently I'm a 38 double G I think yeah but um, I would never be able to normally fit a 3X because right now I'm a 1X, I'm a size 16, and also I'm a double G, which is like a J in US sizes, but this fits me perfectly. It doesn't have as much coverage in the front. I find that this one sits a little lower and you'll see it in the try on haul portion, but it's still one of my favorite because it's so fun. And the next one that I tried on in that video that is my favorite is this green and black one with mesh detailing. This is also in a size 3X D through F. I love that it has the mesh detailing in the cross back. Once again, how often do you find styles like this for women with larger chests or a larger band size? You really don't find it. Now this has like a medium support. Uh, I still love it. It's so cute. This is so cute peeking out of a tank top or something. I've really been enjoying this one as well and then two swimsuits which you guys know if you follow my Instagram which I hope you do I'll have to insert a picture of what this looks like on the model but this is my Shein swimsuit that I have been obsessed with it has really long ties in the front it's basically a mono bikini. it gives you the look of having a bikini with a little more coverage this fits so well I did have to size up so like I said I wear one X and I purchased this in a 2x I've worn this to a pool party so sexy, so beautiful. It just gives you like body yaddy yaddy. It just hugs your curves so amazingly. This is definitely a must buy. If you only get one thing from this video, definitely pick this up. If I can find it in the straight size section as well, I will link that down below. And my last swimsuit that I've been obsessed with is by Cupshe. This is one that's definitely not typical of something that you would see me wear just because it is so bright. But this is what it looks like. It has this really bold 
more floral print and then stripes. This is what it looks like in the back. Now it does come down very low in the back, which I'm not used to, but it actually has pretty decent support just based on how the cups are, I guess, designed. I really like this. This is also in a picture on my Instagram as well. And this has been one of my favorites for wearing to the pool. The last thing I want to share is my Nespresso. I'm gonna insert a picture as well as a picture of my pods. Now, I've been loving my Nespresso machine. I will link that down below. I purchased it on sale in June and I've been obsessed. And since it's been so hot in Atlanta, my favorite capsules have been the Ice Forte, which are sold out everywhere. Hopefully I can get to the mall this Monday and pick up another pack, but that has been saving my life. The Nespresso is just a game changer for you coffee enthusiasts. It is just like Starbucks to the next level. I can't drink Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Donut Shop, anything like that anymore. If it's not an espresso, your girl does not want it. Unless I'm out and about and I have no choice and I'll totally do a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts. But once you get hooked on espresso coffee, you don't want to go back. It's just like once you go black, it's everything. I promise you guys try it out. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about is a TV show that I've been loving. It is Greenleaf on OWN. I've really been enjoying it. I'm so sad that the show is coming to an end, but this is one of my favorite shows. It's dramatic. It gives you everything you need. It also has good music. I don't know. I've really been enjoying it these past five seasons, I think. And so I've been watching that on OWN, but that's going off. One more show, The Real Housewives of Potomac. It is back on Bravo. I love most of the Housewives franchise. And I've really been enjoying this one. It's back on, like I said, it's on Bravo. You get the drama, you get the fanfare, you get the fashion. I just, I enjoy it. Uh, I'm actually enjoying watching TV again, which is odd. I guess when my shows aren't actually on air, I'm not watching a lot of TV. So I've been loving the Housewives of Potomac. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my favorites today. Let me know down below what you are loving and possibly it will be featured in next month's favorites. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.